Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. This is Lifestyle Critic where we break down movies and TV shows into their core elements. And in this video we are going to be reviewing Promising Young Woman, which is an award-winning dark comedy thriller that centres around a character looking to take revenge on a previous rape incident that has totally changed her life forever by calling out predatory men in a movie that is just incredibly timely. I mean it really does make you purposefully feel uncomfortable but does so in a really shocking, clever and gripping way. And in particular, I really love how it suddenly jolts between genres. So you're kind of going down one path, you're expecting it to continue going down that path, and then suddenly it tonally shifts into something completely different. But it does this in a really structured, cohesive and entertaining way. So it doesn't kind of feel like it's all over the place, but it's really structured and it's a truly brilliant watch, which I cannot wait to break down for you in this movie review. So from the get-go, the movie immediately questions whether or not nice guys actually exist, as the character of Cassie is faking being drunk and is confronting men that try to take advantage of her. You then learn that she pretty much does this every single night whilst working in a coffee shop during the day. You also learn about Cassie's past, where an incident really changed her life for good and really made her drop out of uni as well. The movie then kind of explores Cassie's revenge plan, which is really multi-layered, involves loads of different characters and loads of different situations as well. Meanwhile, you're also exploring whether or not Cassie can find true love and it also has her biggest confrontation, yet where she really does come face to face with the past in a really explosive way and the ending of this movie is just incredibly talkable as well. So from a storyline point of view, Promising Young Woman is absolutely incredible. So from a cast and character's point of view, Promising a Woman is very, very strong. So let's go through them one by one. So first up we have Carrie Mulligan, who does an absolutely incredible performance as the Cassie character. You're really rooting for her throughout this movie and you're really learning more about her past as you're following her journey in this movie. And she has this incredible ability to just suddenly switch and shift her tone, mood and expression. And she just does this in such a spectacular way in this movie which really does shock you as a viewer. Next up we have Adam Brody who is the suspecting nice guy in this movie and it really does show that even they can't be trustworthy. I mean if you can't trust Seth Cohen then who can you trust? Next up we have Jennifer Coolidge who is absolutely awesome in this movie. She plays Cassie's mother and even though she's not in that many scenes in this movie she is such a scene stealer and she just does brilliant performances which is really powerful and really funny in its own right as well. Next up we have Alison Brie who plays a character from Cassie's past and the way that Cassie takes revenge on this character is really really interesting as well. Next up we have Bo Burnham who is a doctor that was continuing his education whereas Cassie actually dropped out of medical school. So Cassie is exploring you know what life could have been like had she continued going down the medical route and these two characters explore whether or not there is actually a love interest between the two of them and then finally we have Chris Lavelle who is playing the character Al in this movie, The Big Bad, from Cassie's past that she has a bit of a confrontation with at the end of this movie, which like I said, is really explosive. So from a casting character's point of view, they are absolutely awesome in Promising Young Woman. So from a visual's point of view, it's really interesting with this title as it's kind of got two very distinct kind of tones in there. So on the one hand, is very bubblegum pop, a lot of candy, and kind of using that as a bit of a particular aesthetic. But like I said, then it suddenly shifts into kind of being a really dark thriller movie with some comedy parts in there as well. So it's just really, really interesting from an aesthetic point of view. And then like I said before as well, there are some really interesting and brilliant revenge plan sequences that are kind of drip fed every now and again in this movie. So from a visuals point of view, everything just comes alive really, really well in Promising Young Woman. So from a comparison point of view, I'd say there are similar aspects to other movies such as I Care A Lot, such as Gone Girl, such as The Hustle, such as A Simple Favour, such as Hustlers, which is really, really interesting. But I would say that A Promising Young Woman definitely is its own thing at the same time. So whilst there are attributes to other movies that you can compare it to, it definitely is its own entity as well. So overall, I really liked The Promising Young Woman. I thought it was a really powerful movie with exceptional talkability and exceptional social commentary 
in the result, which is just incredibly timely. I thought the performances were really, really great. I love the aesthetic in this film. I love the jolting between different genres. The fact that it handles such sensitive subject matter in a really, really clever way, whilst also being an entertaining movie, was all really, really great. And so for all of those reasons, I have to give it a solid seven out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.